What's up lads, welcome back. So today we're going to be putting the car on the rotisserie and Liam is back in the house. Yeah! So he's been gone so long, his MVQ level 2 in DIY tuning has expired. So we'll get him on the apprenticeship <laughs> jobs first. So now we're finished pissing about, uh, we're going to build the rotisserie first and then look at where we can mount it on the car. Uh, we have got instructions, but if you can see them because it's a nightmare. Um, but we're not going to use them, or try not to use them, so we feel like real men. Isn't that right? Yeah. So Liam's just going to take these plates off, which are the original tow hooks. This is where we're going to mount it on the front. And then on the back end, um, you usually mount it sort of through the back of the car where them tow hooks go uh, like I think it's about here somewhere but these have been welded up so we might end up having to drill like the original holes so we can get a decent mount for the rollover jig but uh, we'll get it built and then we'll look at that next Right, so now we've took off the tow hooks and we were going to bolt it to these two here but we'd have to bend the bracket to get past this bit. So what I'll probably do is bolt it underneath and grind this piece out because we're going to end up replacing this cost member anyway. Probably with a 281 because it's all bent up and the intercooler bracket's missing and these have just been sort of fabbed on the end of there, a bit crude. So. Yeah, we'll chop them off, get the front brackets on, and then start building. All right, so this is where we're mounting the rear uh, points for the rotisserie. Uh, we are uh, basically this wall smoothed in, so we had to get rid of the fiberglass that was holding that on. This is where the standard bumper bolts on, uh, both sides. So we've got this little angle finder on because it sits sort of at 15 degrees off 90. So we'll put a little cut onto the other pieces so that the plate comes out uh, basically at 90 degrees to the car and then we'll have no issues bolting the jig straight onto it. So the car is ready to take the jig. So these, that's been welded on and on that side as well. And then on the front, we did have these plates on, sort of underneath the car, but uh, they have to be vertical to take this piece. So this goes on there like that, onto the jig. So obviously we had them horizontal, uh, it was never going to work. So no dramas, all we've done is we've had to space them out a little bit. So I can get my finger down, there's just two nuts behind there. And um, just because it has to clear a bit of the frame there. But no dramas, plenty strong enough. So finally, we'll get the time lapse out and we'll start to build that thing.
is both the ends built. So that one is the one with a pin on. And then that one's just obviously the back of the car, whatever side you want it to be. Uh, so what I've got to do now is bolt it up onto these using them plates, you sort of sandwich it together. And then we can set the height and stuff. And then this long bar goes in the middle, uh, depending on how long your car is. But it's pretty easy to put back together, to be fair. A um, few little bits that caught us out, obviously different holes in this bar. Uh, compared to this bar and stuff but you soon start putting it together and it works itself out so we'll get on the car and then we can get this thing rolled over mate all right boys she's on and we've cleared it out so there's nothing that's gonna fall out. Well, you say that, but you'll find a 10 mil now, mate. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, it's a moment of truth. So it's quite free to move. Obviously it's got a pin in it at the minute. And so it moves pretty free, but it's Liam's car, so he can do the honors, mate. You gonna pull the pin? Yeah, I can do. Go for it, mate. I don't know if <laughs> he's scared, look at him. Terrified. Oh, it's out, mate. Side, what? Oh. Should we put this on tripod and I'll give you a hand? Yeah, yeah let's go for it. All right, so it's not quite high enough. So this jig's got like three settings for the bolt holes. So we're on the middle one. And it's also got sort of this thread that you can wind up and down. So we've still got like probably 10 inches of travel there. So we'll probably wind that up two thirds of the way. Yeah. And then we'll try spinning it over again and see if we clear that bar. All right, second time lucky. So we've wound it up that much. So we've probably got four inch on there. Got a little yeah. bead on, because it's fucking warm doing that. So we'll go back on the old tripod and we'll have another go. Show you what we're working with then. So, big old dent in the floor. Was that forklift, you reckon? Yeah, I think off the import where they pull, pull the forklift underneath the car to get off because it was a non runner, I think, when it came to the UK. Um, so, yeah, cheers for that. They do not care at the port. Uh, so, that chassis rail, uh, whether that was done there or whether 
living that low life has done that to it. I think that's too low. But they're probably getting done anyway. Four pans. A few patches there. I get um, What do you reckon? That's a patch, do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a bit of nasty patch. Yeah, one here. Coming back there. Nice patch, yeah. nice patch. There. Some crazy shit going on here. Yeah, that's where it looks like someone's jacked the car up. Some uh, crazy shit going on <laughs> in the tunnel. <laughs> Basically, shit. there's some crazy shit going on all the way around here. To be fair, the back's fine, good. Nearly fucking fell over the subframe, didn't mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the back's solid, mate. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good sign. We'll get a decent front end and attach your back end yeah, on. I'll just cut it here. So, still got to pull out, obviously, everything underneath. Uh, fuel pump's there because it was running SR20. A um, few little brackets in that. And then it'll be good to go to blasters. So that is probably going to be it for this video. Um, if you've got this far, hit the thumbs up again, always helps. And remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell because the next video, the cow will be coming back <laughs> and Liam yeah. will be a sad, sad man. Sad and not very. We can, we can all laugh at him when he's back in the But thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one.